Welcome back, long time no see. It's almost as if you weren't invading my bedroom every single day this week. So in this video, I feel like I need to tell you some secrets. Some dark, juicy secrets about my life. So we can get to know each other a little bit better. Except, I don't have any dark secrets. I don't have a shadowy past or anything. So, what I'm gonna tell you are just things that for some reason I've never told anyone else. And if anything, they're stupid and embarrassing but we'll see. All right, so here's five secrets about me. First off, we'll start off with something, uh, something that might shatter your soul or you won't care at all. I have never played Pokemon, any of the Pokemon games in my life. Now don't get me wrong, I, I, I own them. I just have never gotten into them and I feel like my generation shuns me for that. So, sorry. Okay, number two, two, whichever version of two isn't offensive. Uh, for some reason, I kept this secret my entire life. When I was a little kid, I felt like I wasn't able to tell people because then they would know and they'd get away with my information. For some reason, I've always thought the top of the map of California, you know, the top half of California, looks like Lincoln's head looking towards the Pacific, uh, which shouldn't be anything no one should care, right? I I'm sure I'm not the only one who saw a face in that, but for some reason, for years and years and years, I felt like I wasn't able to tell people, because then they would know whatever that would mean. I was a weird kid. Number three. So, you know, when parents say that when their kids bring home Halloween candy that uh, they have to check it for poison, which is their code for saying, give it to us so we can steal the good things before you get a hold on it. Yeah, I thought my parents were serious for years and years and years and years. So every time I got Halloween candy, when I was like, I don't know, 10, maybe younger, I'd give it to them straight away. They didn't even need to ask. They only needed to ask a couple times. Other than that, I just handed away my good candy, thinking it was poison. But it didn't end there. You see, I, I was afraid that strangers were gonna give me poison candy because of this. So for some reason, every time I got candy, say, any, any person that wasn't my parents gave me candy, like at school or the doctor would hand me a lollipop after a checkout. I'd go, here, mom or dad, check this for poison. I know, I'm stupid, I should have thought about it, I never even did think about it until about a couple of years ago. I'm 18, I'm an adult, and just a couple of years ago, I was falling for my parents' white lies. Now we're getting into some serious young Philip stuff. So when I was a little, little kid, and they were first teaching me, the, the kindergarten teachers were teaching me how to write out my name, they said the first letter needs to be a capital. Well, they always said the P needs to be a capital. Well, my name has two P's, so of course I spelled my name with two capital P's, one at the beginning and one at the end. And I guess they never corrected me on that. So to this day, and remember, I am a legal adult, I still write my name with two capital P's. And no one's called me out on it. So, I mean, this is what it looks like. See, so just to ignore my bad handwriting. The big two capital P's. I guess it doesn't change much, but there's something you learned about me. Okay, number five. This one isn't that old of a secret. This is actually something that just started a few months ago. But ever since I got back from England, I've been uh, carrying a compass with me everywhere I go. And the, uh, I normally just keep it in my backpack or in my car. But the reason being that uh, every great adventurer needs one. And uh, even if I don't know how to read it, I still like the metaphor. Okay, I think that's pretty much it. I hope you learned something about me, and I hope you, you learned something about yourself as well. If not, I don't really care either way. But anyways, remember to vote, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, there'll be an annotation on the screen right now that tells you the details to me dyeing my hair. So remember, any color you want, vote, of course, if you don't understand, go to that video. If you have any similar secrets or stories you want to share, I'd find it pretty humorous, so feel free to put that down in the comments. And remember, there was a video yesterday, and there will be one tomorrow. In fact, tomorrow, I think, is when I dye my hair. So today is your last chance to vote. So, I think that's pretty much it for now. Remember to like, favorite, and subscribe. Till then, bye!